Are you excited that today's the day you're going to find out where you're going? Well, excited is not really probably the word I'd use. Apprehensive is probably a better word. Right, so we were meant to be in Scotland a lot longer, but I accidentally booked a random flight. So we have to be back down south to pack and drive to the airport to get on this random flight. Now, I know where we're going. Queen Anne has no idea. How excited are you about that? Yeah, not really. Now, do you think you trust me enough to pack your suitcase? <laughs> not a chance. So I'm gonna pack our suitcase so she has no idea what we're taking or where we're going. Okay, can you give us two scenarios? Can you give us a scenario for your worst case scenario and your best case scenario? And then we'll see how far we get close to what side. Well, I'm taking time off, off work, so I want a nice relaxing time. Uh -huh. But it's more likely to be a, like, it's going to be full on or it's going to be expeditions or it's going to be walking or trekking or something like that. Yeah, your description of a disastrous yeah, holiday. Just, yeah. Something which is active, doing stuff, well, no, out no, and not about. Act, not active and doing stuff, it's just like it'll be non -stop. remote and it'll be non-stop and it'll <laughs> remote, be bombing non -stop. It somewhere. And no luxury. No luxury. So that's your worst case yeah. scenario. <laughs> and what would be your ideal case scenario? Just uh, some lovely luxurious hotel somewhere really beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a fun holiday. Do you want to come on holiday? <laughs> or would you rather stay here? Oh, I don't want you to pack my suitcase either. So you won't pack all my essential needs? No, what I'll let you do is you can pack all what you want to take. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I will pack your clothes. So you can pack, if you want to take a book, you can pack your like, toiletries. You can do all of that like what you would take anywhere, yeah? Yeah. And then I'll pack the rest. Right. Okay? Yeah. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to pack in a suitcase. I just hope you don't get stopped at the airport. Okay, so you'll be disappointed if it's Jersey, yeah. Pile of Man or Guernsey. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to go to Africa. No. Okay, if, if you could go to any country, and it be your totally dream. Yeah. Which obviously is it's not it's gonna not be. Gonna happen, it's it's not gonna Yeah, but happen. no, but I just wanna know. No. Just no, no. just know because I want them to see what your dream country and idea is and then put it up against no, what it's gonna be. It. Come on, you no. gotta do it for the camera. No. Come on. No. What would be your dream destination? I no, I'm not talking about it. No, come on! Say it. What's your dream destination? Well, you can be anywhere, right? Yeah. But it needs lots of snow, it needs a log cabin. Uh huh. And a big open fireplace in it. Okay. Probably somewhere like Canada. Uh huh. Or some really like nice Scandinavian country. Okay. So that is the dream holiday that she is hoping for. I'm going to get some, oh, I'm going to get the exact opposite, some shit somewhere. This isn't, this isn't my holiday. This is, this is George taking the piss holiday. This is me taking the piss holiday. No, I think it'll be quite hilarious now. No, you don't. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure why um, Queena doesn't trust me to pack everything we need. A free airport hotel, right here. 
Now, let's go catch a flight. Are you excited that today's the day you're going to find out where you're going? Well, excited is not really probably the word I'd use. Apprehensive is probably a better word. Okay, and um, do you know what's in your suitcase? Don't know, but I hope they don't ask. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right, let's go. Okay, are you ready to find out where you're going? No. Go and check out uh, the flight at 7.55. So just one? I hope so, if yeah. <laughs> there's not come and tell me. I don't even know if she knows, like, the city, what the city is. What? Are you going to Poland? Why? What did it say? I think it says Krakow. Okay, what's the one underneath? That's uh, so the site beginning with tea. Okay, we're going to the one beginning with tea. Do you know is where that is? Poland? Do you don't know where it is? No. <laughs> We're gonna leave it. That she doesn't know what country it is, that's even better. Can you still check? No, come on, no, it's that one. It's the one beginning with T. Right. There's a lot of Polish speaking people in this So we're, we're going to Poland. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to Poland? Yeah. Right, would you be disappointed? So she doesn't have any idea where Tromsø is, so it's between Russia and Poland. Poland. Which one out of the two would you prefer to go to? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's not on my top 20 <laughs> destinations to go. Let's see. Let's see where Tromsø actually is. <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, no, there's there. Currently. Yeah, because everyone's got lots of layers. Right now, yeah. minus nine. What was it going to be today? Minus 10. 3,000 feet and in the next 10 minutes or so we'll be commencing our descent down to Tromsø. Money on the uh, southerly runway at uh, Tromsø. So as we descend, those on the right hand side of the aircraft should get a pretty good view of the airport and uh, surrounding area. Uh, so good visibility and uh, not much in the way of clouds, certainly in the sort of, uh, as we get below, low, about 5,000 feet to make our approach. Uh, temperature on the ground of uh, minus 12 degrees uh, Celsius. So if you're to traffic control, we should be arriving uh, in uh, just over 35 minutes time, where the local time will be uh, midday. This time of year, I believe it's about four hours of daylight, so it'll be at least a couple of hours left of daylight. Please do have a safe onwards journey from the airport, and uh, please do take extra care around uh, the, uh, as you disembark the aircraft from the steps, particularly due to the uh, cold and icy uh, conditions. It has been a pleasure having you on board today. Thank you very much for choosing the Any guesses and, to where uh, we're we going? To welcome you on board again in the future. No. Good to work there, though. Yes, uh, that give it away by the daylight hours, isn't it? So we've arrived and she's finally guessed the destination. After two attempts, one landed. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Where are we? We're in Norway. Norway. Can't believe you didn't know it was that. And that is the view from the airport. Right, let's uh, 
get it going to our destination. Right, so what do you think of the outside of your home? It's very snowy. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Your dream holiday? That was my dream holiday. In a log cabin, Yeah. surrounded by snow. Snow. That's our woodshed, that's our toilet, and that's the guest accommodation. And this is our view. Are you happy? Best birthday ever. Look at the trees! It's lush, isn't it? A little sneak peek. Frida thinks we're staying here for the duration of our stay. But I thought I'd be nice to her one night. And then it's not really random, is it, staying in a cabin in Norway? So I've got a few other ideas for our accommodation for the rest of the time. Come back next Friday and see where we're going to stay tomorrow night. Look at these icicles though. Seriously, can't get over this view. Amazing. What are you doing over there? Sorry? What are you doing over there? Just checking out my surroundings. Are you happy with them? Yes, very happy. What would, I, what would you do if I told you this is only our accommodation for one night? I'd cry. Not because it's only one night, but it's because I've just dragged up that suitcase. <laughs> I wouldn't cry because your uh, tears might freeze to your face. Yeah. Temperature here is currently minus 12. But we don't want to go inside because why would you want to go inside when that is your view?